Hey what is going on guys it's Sarge and in this video I'll be discussing the patch notes that released yesterday for Apex Legends so drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and let's get started. Now to start off the Wingman and the Peacekeeper both got some nerfs. The Wingman's rate of fire was reduced from 3.1 to 2.6 shots per second so you will have to focus more on your aim now since you can't spam shots as fast as before. The Skull Piercer's headshot damage multiplier was reduced from 2.5x to 2.25x, so you won't do as much damage as before, but it's not that big of a difference to ruin the weapon itself. They increased the base hipfire spread and decreased the rate at which the hipfire spread decays, so you won't be able to hit medium to long range shots hip firing as often anymore, as the shots won't go straight from the middle of the crosshair. Sorry Drifter, your recent video is nearly obsolete now. As for the Peacekeeper, the Shotgun Bolt rechamber rate has been reduced for the Peacekeeper only. The level 1 Shotgun Bolt's mitigation will go from 10% to 7.5, level 2 will go from 20% to 13%, and level 3 will go from 25% to 16%. So all around the fire rate of the Peacekeeper won't be as fast as before and you'll have to focus more on your aim now and your opponent will have more opportunities to counter you if you miss a shot. The Wingman and Peacekeeper's availability has been reduced in all zone tiers so you won't find as many of these weapons as before. And with that decrease, they increase the availability of energy weapons and ammo in all zone tiers. So you'll now be able to use those Havocs and Triple Takes more often since they were pretty much rare to find in most places. Now when asked about the P2020 or Mozambique buffs, they said they were really enjoying the memes. But in all seriousness, they wanted to have a power curve in the game. They wanted weapons you find early game to be common and weak until fully modified and to make stronger weapons more rare like the Spitfires and R301s. They will be looking at more player data and testing things eternally, but there will be no changes for them as of now. They did fix some crashing problems people were having with certain interactions, so some of the crashing you were having won't happen as often or maybe not at all, so you won't crash as much anymore which is good. As for the hitbox dilemma, they are fixing some hitboxes for Caustic, Pathfinder, and Gibraltar, so they should feel a little better to the user and make it a little harder for the enemy to hit you with more accurate hitboxes now. As for some smaller changes to the legends, Pathfinder was given two extra beacons in the world, so he'll be able to have more chances to show the next circle to his team. Lifeline's care package removed the slight chance that level 4 armor and helmets will drop, so I'm guessing you'll have more chances at getting the armor and helmets. I may be wrong, correct me down in the comments if you've seen the difference in game. Wraith's Into the Void ability's cooldown was increased from 20 to 25 seconds, so you won't be able to use it as often now, so you will have to choose when to use it and when to hold off and wait for a more better time to actually use the ability. And finally, Bangalore's passive, Double Time, had a reduced movement speed bonus from 30 from 40, so you won't be able to run as fast when you're being shot at and you won't be able to escape as easily, making you an easier target. So that's everything that was in the patch notes for Apex Legends. In my opinion, these are some good changes. The weapon nerfs will piss off a lot of players who love the weapons, but this will shift the meta a little bit, making more weapons viable and making people adjust their backpack priorities a bit, making you have to carry more ammo and less grenades and meds. So that'll be the video for today guys, I hope you guys learned something useful from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Apex Legends content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.